Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to go over your horoscope for the month of July. This is for um, anybody with Pisces sun, moon, or rising. So what can Pisces expect for the month of July? Oh, Pisces. Okay, so for some of you, this is a super spiritual time. Um, for some of you, for some of you, you might be going through a change right now, like something suddenly ended um, or there's some type of sudden destruction that's in your life um, or that's coming into your life. So I just want to make sure that you stop at this point and don't make any decisions right away. Yeah, so I just want to make sure that none of you are rushing into any decisions. Stop and make sure you're kind of like taking in the whole situation before you go. Um I did grab a card for you earlier, too, that says skills and talents are dramatically improved with focus attention this month. So it's a good time to study or learn something new. So that would be good for you. All right. So what else does Pisces need to be aware of for the month of July? For some of you, it looks like this big disturbance in your life is going to be a relationship that is, um, it might be ending or you might just be arguing. Um, Use your intuition here because you guys are definitely being guided. Um, but, yeah, if you're feeling like, you know, if, if you feel like you're not getting what you deserve in the relationship or, you know, you're putting all this work into it and you're not getting the same thing in return, it's time to, like, have a conversation and, like, put it all out there. Get your expectations out there. You know, we can't expect people to just know what to do or what we need. Um, we have to tell them. So definitely do that and have that conversation. Don't, like – you know, just run away and um, avoid the situation. All right. Looks like some of you may be reconnecting with somebody from your past. Um, so I feel like this is kind of related, too, for some of you. So this, this thing that's ending, right, it's going to be this relationship that didn't work out. For some of you, it's because somebody from your past is coming back into your life. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of exciting. All right, so there you go. So let's see what else. Advice for Pisces for the month of July. Yeah, you got to get yourself into like a position of power, Pisces. Look at this image. It's like this man is transforming. He is taming the beast. He is, he's empowering himself. He's like moving, like leveling up, like getting to a new level in his life. And this is you for the month of July. Like I said, you're going through some hard things and it's going to be, it's going to be tough for some of you, but it's going to be worth it. Like we, we make these changes, we go through these changes in our life, um, you know, for, for the better, you know, for soul growth, for, to evolve. Um, and I feel like that's what you're going through. So let's see, how can Pisces get through this? Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> okay, so a new romantic cycle begins for some of you. Have faith in your dreams and step out of your comfort zone. I think that is beautiful, beautiful advice for you, Pisces. Okay, so what can Pisces work on healing this month? resilience. It's time to burn away the past. Let those things go that aren't serving you anymore. Whether it's a people, a people, <laughs> whether it's a person, a place, or a thing, it's time to let it go. Burn it away, Pisces. What else? Patience. There's a situation where you're going to have to practice patience. It's a beautiful card. Okay, so what is Pisces Soul Truth card for July? Where can I ask for more help in my life? So here we go, right? Until we can receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, 
we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. So this month's soul action for you, Pisces, ask somebody for help and receive it with an open heart. So your monthly mantra is going to be, I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. I think this was a perfect card for you, Pisces. Um, I hope you can take some of this. Please let me know in the comments if it resonates for you or what this thing is that's going on in your life. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys next month. Thank you.